Hi all, welcome to this course on production planning and control. Today we will be learning about forecasting. So what is forecasting? That is nothing but detecting the future or estimating the future by a certain methods is generally called as forecasting. Estimating something by having a certain inputs is generally denoted or called as forecasting as we see in this picture. So what is forecasting? It is an estimate of an event which will happen in the future. Maybe a demand of a product, it may be the rainfall at a particular place, it may be the population of a country or growth of a technology. These are all the examples of forecasting. Like a new mobile is launched. What will be the demand of it and how much will be the sales or anything that will be determined by the forecasting methods. Similar manner, population of a country for 10 years is determined by the census is also being done by the help of this forecasting methods. So by this forecasting, we'll be able to see the future like you see here in this picture and decide about certain factors which will affect the production planning and control also. So what are the advantages of this forecasting? It helps the management to decide the marketing strategies. It helps in preparing the budget and for settling financial policies like whether a, whether a decision regarding a new product launch is required or not or cut cost in the employees or labor is required or not. All of this is designed or decided based upon the forecasting. It also helps to determine the limiting conditions for various departments which while taking management decisions. And with accurate forecasting, seasonal variations in demand can be stabilized and regulated so as to cut production costs. And even it helps in material planning and avoids the evils of both the overstocking and understocking. Like inventory may be avoided or what are the requirements which are required that can be easily purchased in advance with this forecasting methods. Again, forecasting also helps in product planning, planning expansion and financial planning, inventory control, production control, sales plan. All the things which are related to production planning and control can be directly or indirectly controlled by the help of this forecast. Hence, it is a very important tool in this topic of production planning and control. So finally, in better coordination of various resources, which leads to the better utilization of resources and reduction in waste and efficiencies. So what are the types of forecastings? Horizons. So based upon the methods or the forecasting which we do they are generally classified into three types the short term type the medium term and the long term so the short term type is for zero to three months or it varies from zero to three months where we need to have the inventory management and the scheduling or simply we find out a method and based upon that we do the inventory management and scheduling then that is an example of forecasting for short term Medium term, it indicates for three months to two years where production planning, purchasing and distribution occurs. And if the planning is done for more than two years, then we say that it is a long term project or long term forecast such as capacity planning, facility location and strategic plan. What are these capacity planning, facility location will be leading in the upcoming chapters or upcoming topics of capacity planning and aggregate plan. That is nothing but what is the total amount of capacity which is needed for each of the department like recruitment of staff, recruitment of materials and investment of money, everything. So that's all what we'll be learning in this upcoming topics. Thank you.